and welcome to my uh, continuation of my series of reviewing uh, um, the Bear and Ten movie. And then after I review each of the Bear and Ten movie, and then I'll go back and uh, rank them, the, rank the Bear and Ten movie from worst to best, from my least favorite to my to my most favorite Bear and Ten movie. Okay. Um, so I haven't seen the uh, the new one that came out. Um, fake music because it's about to come out on um, DVD and Blu-ray. I'll go and buy it when it comes out and on DVD and Blu-ray, and then I'll come back, watch it, and then review it, and then rank rank them. Okay. So. Bill and Ted, Bogus Journey. It's directed by Peter Heatwick, uh, starring Alec Rayner, Kenny Reed, William Gatler, George Collins. Uh, release date July 19, 1991. Running time 93 minutes. That's an hour and 34 minutes. Um, and, um, so, um, they're the evil robot. They're the evil ro the two, the evil robot of Bill and Ted that kill them, and they go and uh, fake the Green Reaper, fake death, and play some game with the Green Reaper. Um, and uh, the evil robot messed up the uh, girl, met messed up the chance to do the battle of the band. And uh, when they get out of debt, get out of hell, they um, uh, meet Station, the most brilliant, smart scientist ever. And they go to the uh, you know store to uh, have him to build a good robot of themselves. And then they um, defeat the bad robot. Okay. Um, so a Rotten Tomatoes, um, a Rotten Tomatoes, it got fifty-seven percent. The audience gave it fifty-six. Now, um, this is one of Marie. That people bad mouth on uh, in the franchise. You're like people bad mouth on um, uh, Wayne World 2 in the franchise. Okay. Um, to me, um, I don't think Bill and Ted Bogus Journey bad. I like Bogus Journey. Um, I like Wayne World 2. I don't think it's a bad movie. In my opinion, I like Wayne World 2 more than Wayne World 1. Um, I already uh, I already want Wayne World 2 more than Wayne World 1. And I prefer Wayne World 2 more than Wayne World 1. Hi, Hampton Man. Uh, so, uh, some people might consider this the, uh, the, the weakest out of all three of them. Uh, and then some people, some people said this is a bad sequel in the franchise. I don't know yet because I haven't, I haven't watched the uh, Space Me yet. But when it comes out, I'll watch it and give you my opinion on it when I review it. And then I'll rank them, okay? Uh, to be honest, uh, I've seen this movie a few times over the years. Because, you know, you know, I had this and I have both of them on DVD for a while now. For over the years, uh, and I already enjoyed it. I thought it was a fine, decent sequel. Same thing with the original. I thought the original was a fine, decent sequel. I mean, a, a decent movie. Um, and when you come in, when you come in into the Bill and Ted movie, you're gonna have people that uh, might think Bill and Ted movies are similar to Wayne World movies or Wayne World movies are similar to Bill and Ted. And because the way they talk, Paul Diondu, excellent. Um, so, um, so you might have debate between, oh, which you like better, Wayne World movie or Bill and Ted movie, 
which one better, which one you like better. Um, and then, uh, when I hear people compare those and talk about the Bill and Ted movie, The Wayne World, people always bad mouth The Wayne World 2 movie and Bill and Ted Bogey Journey movie. To me, I like Wayne World 2. I, I like it more than Wayne World 1. Uh, Bo, uh, Bill and Ted Bogey Journey. Um, it's a fine, decent sequel, not bad. It's enjoyable. I liked it. Um, some people have to think it's terrible. No, I enjoy it. It's good. For me, I want to describe uh, Bill and Ted, Bogey Journey, and Wayne World 2. Both of these movies, underrated movies. These, these are movies that I enjoy. Of course, uh, I, I enjoy one over the other, but, but, but these two movies that when I hear people review them or talk about them, they bad mouth them. And they say, uh, and I do have the other one. I'm like, no, uh, to me, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them underrated movie. Movie that you get a lot of hate on, bad mouth on, and um, I don't know what proper grade I would give um, Bill and Ted Bogus Journey. Because I think it's a fine, decent thinker to Bill and Ted. I know people wanted um, more similar to the uh, first one, Actual Adventure, where they do more time travel. And and you didn't, you did not get that in uh, Bogey Journey. You got more, you got like the Alpha Dead, Dark Harmony, where uh, they had to they had to fight the evil robot for themselves. Dead, Hell, The Grand Reaper. So, um, but I enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, I, I will enjoy uh, Fake the Music when I buy it and watch it and review it for y'all and do my ranking. Um, so, if I had, so, like I said, I described this movie as an underrated, sequel, underrated movie, okay? Um, if I had to, uh, if I had to, um, give it a grade, I would probably give it, like, either a B or a B minor. Okay, but it's underrated, not a bad movie, not a bad sequel. There are a lot of movies out there where, uh, the sequel are very bad and disappointed. But this was a fine sequel in the franchise, okay? Um, so, um... Yep, yeah. uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts and opinion on uh, Bogey Journey. Are you one of those ha haters of this movie? Uh, or do you, are you a fan of this movie and like it? Like I said, I think this movie is underrated. You're like, I think uh, Wayne World 2 is underrated. Um, so, let me know that in the comment section below. And new to my channel, hit the like button and subscribe. And next few days, when um, Bill and Ted Fake the Music comes out, I'll go buy it on DVD and stuff. Come back, uh, watch it, review it, then rank all three of them from worst to best. You know, my least favorite to my most favorite. Okay? That's it. And you're my channel, hit the like button and subscribe. Excellent! Thank you. And party on. Thank you.